Hello guys, I'm so just here and I am um, talking to you guys before this video because I am doing a uh, kind of new uh, a new way of doing this uh, let's play. Uh, I'm trying to fast forward where most of the uh, boring stuff and uh, go through the story thoroughly but uh, still trying to make it uh, entertaining. So, um, if you guys like this, please leave me a uh, like or uh, tell me what you think about it. Is this a new format a, a good format or should I go back to um, back to the old one where I take it so I go through everything and I basically take the whole game uh, a piece. So, please leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, tell me if you want more of this, uh, if the length is okay and... Basically, just tell me what you want. So, um, enjoy the video. Yeah. Hello, guys. I'm just just here, and I have decided to take up my old Grandia Let's Play. So, uh, I've gotten myself a. Um, Controller, a uh, connect to the computer USB controller thing. So um, the th thing about my old Let's Play is, um, hold on, I'm just slang a little bit. Hold on, should be fixing it now soon. Just hold on in there. There we go. Should have fixed it. No? It's better. Yeah, that's better. Uh, the reason I restarted the uh, series is because I, I didn't really feel inspired of the other uh, the other plus play with. So I'm gonna redo the whole thing and uh, hopefully I'll do much better this time. I'll be a better commentator because I, I think I've grown since, uh, well, I think it's about one, about one year ago, something like that. Anyways, I think I've become a better commentator since then and um, hopefully I have. And this is a game that's really dear to me. If you didn't watch the other series, uh, this is basically uh, the one game that got me Stuck in gaming. Right. I got this game as a little child, and uh, it really impacted me. Like I, I, I asked my dad to have the, uh, the PlayStation on during the night because um, because I didn't have a memory card. Memory cards were rare at that point, uh, so I couldn't save. I, I had no way of saving the game. So I had to have the uh, PlayStation on all the time, and if someone turned it off, I'll, I'd be so angry with them. I, I remember it is, uh, those days. Anyways, I've been uh, lacking some on the uh, the uploads recently. Um, this is because I, I'm at school now, and I'm doing uh, I'm doing math, the uh, second year, blah blah blah, something like that, and. Uh, because of it, I'm having a little bit of trouble of getting much gaming in. Like, I, I raid with my World of Warcraft guild, uh, but that's pretty much it. I, I can't really game much more. Uh, like, I'm trying to get some ranked games in and play some uh, casual games and stuff, but it's just, it's just getting hard right now. And I'm, I've been trying to uh, adjust the sound, so before I actually start the uh, actual gameplay of this uh, let's play, I'm gonna check if the sounds are okay, to see that everything is working. Actually, I can do that now. So, be right back. Okay, so I turned down the sound a little bit. It shouldn't, uh, should be better now. Um, I noticed that was a little bit low. Oh, I remember this. I, I remember knowing exactly what it said, and <laughs> like by heart. I guess so I, I must that do stuff. Off. I had that I dream had again. That dream again. The Those bastards—they're hounding me. Mullen, 
Where are we now? Oops. Where are we now? It's, it's only, only been a half an hour since you asked last. You look tired, General Ball. You look tired, General Ball. <laughs> I know what my heart tells like this. I keep telling you, Mullen. <laughs> when there are, there no, are no soldiers, soldiers around, around, you should call me father. Excuse me. But Lieutenant, Lieutenant Lean is still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you to answer. Like I, I was, uh, I played this game a while, a while back where um, that lean is a very special. First time I played this, I guess it was like seven or eight years or something, and I I didn't know English at the time, so <laughs> I had my dad read for me <laughs> so that I could uh, figure out what to, what I was doing. I'm counting on you. <laughs> it was kind of silly. Now I'm. Now I can read everything myself and stuff, so I actually get much more of the story this time. We've assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. I'm sure, I'm sure that we'll hear the news. news. Yay! <laughs> yeah. The current time is 1340 hours. Now passing through Pond airspace, our ETA is 1530 hours. Oh, by the way, I'll try to get uh, through the story here uh, as much as I can. Yes, like, I'll try to explain everything that I do and stuff like that. Um, and this time I will actually not power boost myself. Um, I'll record everything. Uh, I might, might at some point... Uh, Like uh, speed up the footage so that um, so I can level some and get some experience and stuff. Because uh, one thing about these um, these old RPG games is that you you kind of have to power level yourself a little bit, else you'll have have problems in dungeons and stuff. Uh, so I'm thinking of doing that at the start, and I've um, well up to. Uh, up to the first boss, uh, you should be able to have your second attack. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain that later. But uh, it's just basically a way that I uh, promise myself and make sure that I have a possibility of clearing the boss with no problem. And now I'll shut up and I'll let the actors do their thing. And the sound is rough. I'll teach you, you punk. Oh. oh, Justin, not you again. You just don't learn trashing my shed again. I didn't trash it. Why won't you listen to me? I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Shut up. There's no treasure in all that junk. Now you've completely trashed it. Anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? Ouch. That awful man, he never ever understands. Justin, Justin, you okay? That sounded like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Don't worry. A punch like that, nothing to it. For a first-rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Right. So how'd it go? Did you find anything in the shed? Nah, nothing.
nothing at all. It really was all junk. Must have guessed wrong. But Sue, what about you? Of course I found something. Ta-da! Here it is, the legendary armor. I found it all by myself. Oh, yeah. Puppy helped, too. Here you go, Justin, the legendary armor. Great, Sue. That's the first one. That leaves the shield of light, the warrior's helmet, and the spirit sword. Don't forget, we gotta get them by sundown or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck, I don't want to marry that awful god. You know, it's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. You'd better take responsibility. Okay, I know, I know. Come on, let's go show this to Gons. Puppy, let's go too. <laughs> We found it, Gons. The first treasure. And that's where it leaves my mouth. So, I'm just gonna see if I can make everything. Uh, since my controls aren't working. Hold on. Okay, it is working. So, now I actually can turn my, um, my camera around and stuff. So, let's get started with the storyline. So, uh, if you didn't catch the story from now, uh, Justin is in a duel with Gantz over here, this guy. This random dude right here. And um, the duel is going, uh, uh, the duel is about um, Justin believing that he's a great adventurer. And um, Gantz wants to, wants to dare him uh, to uh, find some treasure in this, um, in this town right here. Um, basically the treasure is like dory aprons, uh, wooden swords, pot lids and stuff like that. Things that would, for a child, seem like it's, um, it's like medieval swords and stuff. Anyways, um, so he dared Justin to uh, go on a treasure hunt to prove that he is a first-rate adventurer. Which is uh, the ultimate task of uh, Justin, he wants to become as great of an adventure as his uh, dad, so. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, the catch, however, is that if they don't find the treasures uh, within sundown, they will, uh, will um, sue the little girl behind Justin there. Uh, she she would have to uh, marry Gantz, uh, the guy over there. Um, and she doesn't really want to do that, so... Uh, so we're trying to find the treasure stuff. So, let's get on with the... Uh, the... Uh, sword on. If it isn't Justin, you're taking your sweet time, aren't you? First rate of adventure, scam sucker! Or something. The end of the world was found. There is no use for adventures. You're way behind the time. There is no end of the world. Huh? You don't even know that. You're a first-rate adventurer. There's no way you're gonna find the four treasures before sundown. This duel is as good as one. As you promised, starting tomorrow, Sue's in my gang. I, Gantz, will take her as my bride. No way, Gantz. We got plenty of time before sundown. Hey, Gantz, looky here. Shows the dirty eye prone to Gantz. Erg, you found legendary armor. Haha, <laughs> how about that? Hmm, don't get big headed just because you found my legendary armor. That's all you found so far. I reckon I can give you this third great adventure, uh, give this third great adventure Justin a clue to the hidden treasures. You listening? I'll say, I'll find him without your clues. Oh yeah, then you go and find the shield of light and the warrior some. Unless you find those two, you'll never find the spirit ward. And let's go find them. They're down here. And see the warrior's helmet.
let's go find the shield of light. Clever name, is by the way. <laughs> and just talk to my uh, my um, guild leader for World of Warcraft, and um, we're getting a whole new a whole set of new people into the guild, which is awesome because um, that means we can get here's the shield of light. Uh, that means we can get uh, more progression in the heroic attacks that we're doing. And uh, if you guys want, I'm not sure if you do, but if you guys want, I will record them and uh, we can have some fun, you know? We can uh, watch me fail <laughs> at heroic events. Uh, so if you guys want to, I, I can do that and we can, uh, I can upload them to the channel. And uh, you can have something to laugh about. Heh <laughs> I knew we were a third grade adventure. You've only found one of the hidden treasures. Well then, I show you these. You're gonna admit that I'm first with the guns. Shows the battle pot and the pot lid together. Ugh, you found the warrior's helmet and the shield of light. I guess you got three of the four treasures. But don't let it go to your head. You won't find the last one. The spirit sword, so easy. Hehe, <laughs> the spirit sword. Piece of cake. Then I win guns. But we didn't see anything like a sword anywhere. Listen close, Jason. The spirit sword is in the chest chest in my house. But it is locked, so you can't open it. Here's the catch. Where do I think the key is? Hehehehe. <laughs> the key to the chest chest. Hmm. Did I see something like that? Hey, Justin. Very simple for an adventure to open the chest chest, right? If you can't do it, don't you go around saying that you're an adventure, deal? <laughs> Basically, they're the bullies of the town. I like this. Uh, let's see, it's in here and talk to this guy. Hey, what do you. What do I do? What do I do? Sniff, sniff, wah, rah, rah. Hey, what's wrong, Tons? Are you. Uh, why are you crying? Sniff, sniff, I'll tell you, but will you promise not to tell Gans? And they say, No way, I'll tell Gans. Oh no, no! Don't tell Gans I lost the key to, <laughs> key to this treasure chest. Hmm, now I see you lost the key to the chest chest in this, uh, hiding the space ward. How can. Uh, how, how did you know Sue can be my mind or something? No, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Come on, stop crying and we'll help you look for it. Right, Justin? Guess we have no choice. It's over here, right on the... Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's it. I'm glad I found it. Thanks, Justin and Sue. What you know, tans can be sweet. I'll never forget this, Justin. Well, I definitely remember until the day after tomorrow. <laughs> look at you, now we're brawling like a baby and... Uh, you were born in a baby, now you're back to the usual tents. <laughs> Big Brother the Guns told me not to give this uh, give this kit to you, Justin. But you know, I'll give it to you anyway. <laughs> I can't be in indebted to anyone if I'm gonna be a man. Just a chest key acquired. But Justin, you tell him that you took it from me by force, okay? Otherwise, Guns will beat me up. The chest chest. Uh, holding the spirit keys at my house. Come along with me, Justin and Sue. If I could run, I would. Soup. All right, finally, next up the just chest. Yeah, I'm so excited. Justin, Puffy must be too. <laughs> puff, puff. Here it goes. There it is. The spirit sword. Wooden sword acquired. Another uh, evil force is all of them. And let's see. Guns is up here. Why do you guys keep pulling these pranks all the time? Are you listening, Guns? Look at that, Sue. Greg is telling Guns off for good. 
of good. Uh, he he, what a chump, whatever. Uh, basically, he's yelling at Gans for blocking the path with um, uh, with um, crates, and Sue just told me that we can sneak by them. Oh wait a second, Justin, weren't you playing together with Gans too? Surely you just. There's no way I'd be caught dead playing with Gans. That's right, Gray, sir. We just happened to be passing by, right, Puff Puffy? Puff Puff. Of course, you wouldn't. There's no way that all Gans play and uh, be playing uh, with Justin. Me and Gans are having a duel. What? What's the meaning of this, Justin? Bastard! Make a break for it, Sue. By the way, I love this scene. It's hey, all. Justin. Oh. Ouch. Mom. What did I do? How many times do I have to tell you? No dirty shoes in the kitchen. Even so. You don't have to hit me with your tray. Don't talk back to me. You know the rules of Siegel Restaurant. Always keep the kitchen clean. Come on, I have work to do. Out you go. My little troublemaker. You could at least help if you're going to be in the kitchen. Hello, Aunt Lily. If you keep whacking Justin's head, he's gonna get... Stupid! <laughs> Don't worry, Sue. Justin's brain can't get any worse than it already is. Mom! I'm hurt. How could you say such things about your only darling son? <laughs> So the cake goes to the bear. Looks like a slice of cake. And the bear. Or the bear. Oops. Very easy. That's a big maze. Getting in trouble. Justin! She's mad at me. Blah 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 blah. Ouch. I beat the wrong one. Uh, basically, she's yelling at me, and then I say, "You wasn't doing anything." Ask Sue. Uh, Justin usually does a lot of stupid stuff, and usually gets in trouble uh, in town. And uh, his mom is pretty much angry with him about it. And now we're gonna eat dinner. These dinner scenes will get pretty annoying, but it's a good time to catch up on some story. So, I'll skip through all the story here, uh, you guys can pause if you really want to uh, read it, but I'm not going to read it myself. So.
and that's basically the uh, eating scene. Uh, I will go through every eating scene so that you, um, so that you guys can catch up on some story and stuff. Uh, however, I will not commentate over it, so you guys can just pause whenever you see something interesting. Shouldn't be too hard. There are three three secrets in there. There's some poison antidote, money. And there's a first aid kit right here. Yay! So, uh, now we're gonna speak to the curator about uh, getting the spirit stone uh, that my dad and my. Well, that Justin's dad and Justin's mom were fighting about, blah 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 story. It's basically the stone of the Angelo symbolization and a big part of this story. It saves you so many times. Plus it, it opens the door to the Angelo civilization and blah 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 blah. It's, it's basically the main item. It's a new Icarian statue. Yeah. Wow, this statue is an Icarian. I never see this type. Woohoo. Uh, when I checked with Garla, it seems I was found in the Doom Ruins on the continent of Valencia. Wow, the Doom Ruins, eh? The biggest ruins on the new continent of Valencia. I'd like to go. Mm, no, you don't. Not yet. I bet you would. Uh, bet you would, yes. Uh, it's, it's what you're looking for. Uh, it, 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 it's what you look for that makes you man, just in whatever. Blah. According to the angel of myths told in Palm, Icarians used the power of the spirit stones to create a dream world. Someone just messaged me. Stories are told of the. Uh, just see well. Um, so there's is yeah, baby. The stories are told of the floating cities and the ships that travel to the stars, steam engines that run forever. Yay! The spirit sanctuary frozen in time. Great immortal priest who never age. Are you two finished yet? Sorry, so you will be through. I th thought of through whatever in a minute. Okay, but just a minute. After all, I'm a very understanding woman, right? Oh, I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. This is lore. Ha 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 ha. Yet, we, uh, if we consider these utopian fantasies apart from this, uh, these Karens must have been. In power was kings who possessed great power. Archaeologically, uh, that much is certain. Archaeologically, archaeologically, these kings must have created the spirits and, and spirit stones in order to justify their presence. Ah, it's just not very interesting. Archaeology has no romance. Romans. Ha ha ha. The <laughs> Sorry about that. I, <laughs> I'd like to dream stories myself. Justin, I guess you get bored when the angels myths become research. That's right, I can't quite get in the mood today. I might all have been true, right? That's right, Justin. I cannot prove that it's not all true. Oh no, I almost forgot. It's about the so-called spirit stone left by your dad. Oh, so you examined it for me? I bet it was real. <laughs> well, I can't tell if it's real or fake. To begin with, the spirit stone only exists in myths. I tried to do a chemical analysis of the stone, but I couldn't it's harder than diamond, so I gave up. Harder than diamond? Really? Until I think of another way to analyze it, I'll g g give it back. <laughs> uh, role playing. If you like, why don't you try to analyze it, Justin? I'll give you some hints. When you are finished looking at the statue, come to my office. I have something for you. Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> Let's go and ruin the statue. And this might be why he is hidden in all this town. This is why. Yay. And he actually manages to fuck it up. Like How can you fuck up that? Like it's it's two pieces. Kids, you know. So now we're getting a uh, a permit to join or to uh, visit the uh, salt ruins. Uh, first of all, we could tell him that um, <laughs> he uh, he asked. Oh, I heard a loud crash. What happened? And we're saying, actually, I brought the statue. And he's like, haha, Justin, you're a joker. Basically, he doesn't believe us. Anyways, now we get a permit to join the, uh, or to travel to the salt ruins. And with this one, we can actually enter the salt ruins to, um, to do an excavation there ourself um, which is pretty cool before that however we will be uh, seeing the first of the uh, fighting scenes uh, fighting areas that is um, I'm thinking of just skipping through most of it like I'll show you guys uh, a couple of fights two or three fights or something and then I'll just uh, fast forward everything so you guys don't have to watch the, uh, the entire area. I'll even try if I can to add a little map. Format it. Perfect. And I'll save it on game number one. Okay, so I'll show you guys a couple of fights and um, I'll un, un fast forward it every time I get an item. So this is the fighting scene. Basically, it's a turn-based um, uh, turn-based game where you choose your different attacks and. Um, from what you choose, you will do more damage, less damage, more attacks, less attacks, um, <coughs> spells, items, run away, whatever, whatever. There's a lot of things you can choose to do. Uh, I'll, I'll go through the uh, combat um, system a little bit. Uh, there we go. So, as you first come in, you will notice. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, or something like that. I don't know if you can see my uh, cursor right now, but down in the uh, bottom right corner, you will see like a timer bar. Uh, this is the action bar, basically. Uh, you will you, you see the icons that we have, and these icons indicate how close you are to choosing a, a attack. So basically, you wait from from this point, from the start of it. To about the end of it, where you see the blinking uh, character right now, you wait all that time, and um, when you get to the blinking point uh, over there, you will uh, uh, choose an attack, and the um, uh, the bar afterwards will uh, the one that has ACT under it. Uh, this basically the act uh, bar. Uh, depending on what you do, 
this bar will charge slower or faster. So a, a combo attack, a straight up attack, will most often charge up instantly. But a spell will will uh, require more time to be able to uh, charge up and get ready. Uh, this is a way where you can, uh, if the enemy is using a special attack, you can interrupt their attacks. Anyways, if you go to the uh, other scene here, you will see the uh, in the bottom left this time. You will see the status of uh, my um, character, currently a chosen character. Uh, her name is Sue. Her HP is blah blah blah, and she's waiting to enter a command. Um, she has no status effects right now, and uh, that's a pretty good thing. Uh, if you go to the middle here, the uh, flipping thingy. We, you will see a lot of different things. So first we have is a combo. Combo is a double attack um, standard attack. It's weaker than the critical, but it's uh, two attacks. The critical is a uh, a uh, more powerful single attack, which has the uh, ability to cancel special attacks and send the enemy back in line, basically on the weight bar down there. Defend does the same thing when you can't run away. Uh, defending is the uh, best thing. We have both Endure and Evasion. Endure will basically make you uh, pull out a shield. And Evasion basically makes you run away. Then we have the Look function. The Look function basically does what it says. It looks... I'm gonna make And uh, it's used to look at enemies and stuff. The escape function just does just that. Oops, see. Yeah. Basically, that's the escape function. Yeah. Um. I was not supposed to do that, but yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the escape function for you. Um, then we have the um, items function, which basically lets you use an item. Do you know what this one does? And then they have the uh, moves, <coughs> moves and magic um, function. Here we will have different kinds of magic. Uh, basically, the first one here is moves, which is. Uh, Based on your character, like um, Puffy Kick and Rara, is things that Sue only can use. Uh, this will change depending on what character you're controlling. Uh, magic 1 is basically uh, the first level of the magic uh, tree, which is uh, you, you have fire, frost, uh, fire, frost, earth, and water which have their different attributes, I'll, I'll go into that later. Uh, but basically, the first level of them would be here, which is the weakest spells. Then you have the little bit more powerful spells in level 2. And then you have the most powerful spells in the level 3 section. So, let's start, m start uh, attacking. As you can see, he is charging up a special attack. And if you look down in the... Uh, down in the uh, left corner, you will see that he is charging thorns. So, I'm gonna use a uh, critical strike on him. Oh, max HP level. That's cool. And as you can see, that cancelled his, uh, his special attack. And this guy is now attacking my character. So if I attack him, I will get a counter strike. Oh, nope. He attacked me first. Anyways, if you attack someone who is attacking you, you will get a counter strike on it. Like that, for example. So, I, uh, I'll skip through most of the other fights and I'll um, catch you guys in when I find some items.
Oh, by the way, I forgot to explain to you guys what tactics are. Tactics are basically a way that you can optimize your um, characters. Um, usually, when I uh, power level, I use the fair play, uh, play fair party tactic, which is basically you just run into the fight, they will start attacking with uh, normal attacks, and you'll just go through everything. Uh, but if you want to level only one character, you can set, for example, your uh, other character to withdraw where they only will use defensive uh, items and stuff. Uh, you can also set them to things like Mimi, uh, which, uh, which will mischief and annoy an enemy. Uh, which basically means they will do whatever they can to um, reduce the enemy armor and whatever. Then he has 70 recover, which uh, basically is um, a recovery spell. Like they use every healing they can. To make sure everyone stays alive. And here you basically have a uh, the character does whatever he wants to thing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna start using the party tactics so that I. Well, basically, I can't do much else. Anyway. So I'm just gonna use the party tactics for now. And uh, I'll start skipping again. And we're back for a little while. Here we see a uh, gold um, pot or whatever you want to call it. A bag, maybe. And there are two types of gold uh, bags or caskets or whatever you want to call them. Uh, pouches, maybe. This is the small one, and there's a big one. Uh, currently, at this area, the uh, small one gives me 10 gold. And the big one gives me 30 gold, and they will scale with the area. So, next area there, I think it will be <coughs> 20 and 40 or something, and, and they will scale up and be uh, more and more as you progress through the game. So, let's pick that one up, and I'll continue on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, my um, my work just called me and uh, I had to do some extra work for him. Anyways, I'm gonna continue skipping now. Hey guys, someone just here again, and um, this is the uh, the bigger gold chest, cash, whatever it is. Um, this one contains 30 gold. Yay! Let's pick that one up. And there should be some more monsters around here. Yep. By the way, these are dungeon lookouts maps, the thing is. They're used to, uh, to you look at the surroundings so you can figure out if there's any hidden treasures or something down there. Which are pretty useful. Gold. We just leveled on my um, Justin character. We just leveled, and uh, basically that's it. <laughs> basically, you just get more 
health, more mana, and a little bit more strength and stats and stuff. We just picked up a um, a herb. They're basically small healing things that heal a little bit. Not too too useful, but they're okay. Okay, if you're in that spot. By the way, people, I want to talk about something because um, I ordered a new mic. It's a good news for you guys because I ordered a new mic, and on that mic there is a uh, webcam, so that I will be able to record myself whilst recording uh, sound whilst recording video games, which is pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm still waiting to get it in the mail, but when it comes around, uh, I'll test it out, I'll have some fun with it. Uh, the reason I'm trying to kill everything in this area is because, as I said, uh, you kind of need power level, uh, else you'll probably die in the first boss. It's an old RPG game, that's the way it works. Ja, vil du virkelig ikke kjøre alle? Ja, det går jo greit for meg, bare klemper seg båt her. Now we picked up a uh, baton, a uh, weapon. Uh, this is a better mace than the mace that they are, um, that Sue currently has. Well, that just now currently has equipped extra. So I'm gonna change to the baton, which I sh probably sh actually shouldn't, because uh, it increases my damage, which re uh, reduces my uh, attacks per uh, enemy. Uh, there's no more enemies left here, so uh, we're now done with this area. And we're approaching the salt ruins. And this is where we'll cut it off for this episode. So, um, if you guys enjoy this, remember to le leave a like, and um, I'll uh, see you guys later for the next episode.